Extended High Efficiency AAC, or XHE AAC in short, is uh, the latest addition to the AAC family of codecs. The goal of this codec, the design goal of this codec, was to develop something that could uh, encode every type of content, being it speech or music or a mixture of both, uh, at very high quality, at very low data rates. I'm speaking of, let's say, 16 kilobits per second in stereo or down to 8 kilobits per second in mono. And one of the beauties about that codec is that it's an extension to the AAC family of standards, meaning for implementers that it's most of the time just a simple upgrade of the libraries they are already using in their devices. One of the first application standards that adopted extended high efficiency AAC was DRM, Digital Radio Mondial. A digital radio broadcasting system using the AM frequencies. And using the AM frequencies, there's only a very tiny net bit rate available for broadcasting. I'm speaking about 20 to 25 kilobits per second. So if you think about a radio system like DRM, then it's quite logical to use the best and most efficient codec available. What we've seen in the last year is a lot of demand from different markets all over the world for a technology to have music streaming over uh, mobile networks. Mobile networks, most of the time, in different parts of the world, means very low available data rates. For example, India is such a market, or uh, the region of the, uh, Southern Africa, uh, South America. Mobile networks, most of the time, 2G networks, again, do only offer very low available data rates. And again, this is where extended high efficiency AC is the perfect choice. Basically, the advantage for a streaming provider is uh, the same as for the listener. Having lower data rates means you save costs. For a broadcaster, uh, this means CDN costs for the distribution of uh, their radio programs. For listeners, lower uh, data rates means that they don't have to pay so much for their data, uh, data plans, that they don't have to buy um, additional capacity for their mobile networks so often, things like that. And in addition, for a listener, a real benefit is that with a codec like Extended High Efficiency AC, it is possible to have a continuous playback even over patchy mobile networks. Based on all those demands from all over the world, what we can show this time at IBC is first encoder products that really did implement Extended High Efficiency AAC. For example, there's an encoder product from a company which is called Modulation Index, the Stream S encoder. And we do have another encoder um, tool here, which is from Omnia, the SIPStream encoder. And as you can see, those uh, encoders already do support XHE AAC, this time configured to broadcast at 16 kilobits per second in stereo. And to showcase the quality, the output of those uh, encoder products is fed to a mobile phone and uh, visitors to our booth can listen to the quality of XHE at those low data rates.